Joining us now, John Sotolides, a geopolitical strategist at uh, Trilogy Advisors, and uh, George Galloway is a former UK MP. You know, gentlemen, it took me in my life a while to understand the pressures on a leader like uh, a Joe Biden, for example. I worked at CNN, I worked at Fox News, I worked at Univision, I worked at NBC. But it wasn't until I worked here at RT and getting a more global perspective that I really understand how difficult it must be, the pressures that are applied to people like Mr. Putin and uh, Mr. Biden to be able to handle situations like this. So, George, I, I start with you. From, from what you can read, is Biden uh, the kind of man who has the medal to do what it takes in this meeting, or will he just do what <laughs> the pundits, the media, the hawks, whoever, the long litany or list of people essentially expect of him? Well, I sing hallelujah, first of all, that the meeting is going to take place. As Mr. Churchill famously said, jaw, jaw is better than war, war. And this is a lesson that politicians of all colors and stripes have long ago learned. I mean, if President Reagan could do business with the, the then head of the Communist Party of the then Soviet Union, it ought not to be beyond the diplomatic skills and wit of Secretary Blinken and President Biden to have a fruitful, mutually beneficial meeting uh, with uh, President Putin. The United States and Russia have real objective reasons for getting along. The first is the one that you alluded to, the hyper-nuclear questions. These are the two countries with more warheads than all the other countries in the world put together. Uh, and the second is terrorism. Both Russia and the United States have, frankly, as their number one security risk in the world today, the menace of Islamist terrorism. ISIS and al-Qaeda and the alphabet soup of Islamist extremism. And together, they can beat this thing, but divided, they will not. Hmm. John, let me bring you into this, Ken, uh, and I'll ask the question this way to you, because I think you'll get it. Can um, Mr. Biden stand up to the Stephanopoulos's of the world, the Maddows of the world, who are going to call him or accuse him of being weak for smiling at Mr. Putin, et cetera? It seems that the White House has already begun to move in that direction, Rick. Uh, they withstood significant criticism over the decision to not levy sanctions on the companies involved in Nord Stream. And I think that was also a major incentive for Vladimir Putin to sign on to the summit. Also, I think it was very important to avoid a rupture with uh, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, who is very much in favor of the Nord Stream pipeline, right before the G7 and NATO summits coming up before the Putin meeting. But I think there's also one more issue we need to be very cognizant of here. And the U.S.-Russia relationship involves not only, as George mentioned, uh, arms control and nuclear nonproliferation and fighting radical Islamist terrorism around the world, but I think that President Biden would like to see President Putin back off on the destabilization of Eastern and Central European countries. Hmm. They have to find some type of an accord on Ukraine and now Belarus, Syria and Lebanon in the Middle East. But the major issue, probably the single most important issue in the bilateral relationship, is what to do about the China challenge to both countries, because Russia is very much threatened by China's long-term interests with the Belt Road Initiative through Central Asia that undermines Russian influence in that very important part of the Eurasian mm. landmass. China, as a non-Arctic country, looking to move in against Russia's very serious Arctic interests, especially in extracting oil, natural gas, and valuable minerals from that seabed in the decades ahead. And down the road, if one looks at Chinese writings, mm. the Chinese have never accepted the uh, Russian conquest of eastern Siberia. There are more uh, ethnic Chinese nationals than there are ethnic Russians in East Siberia. And the timber resources and other natural resources yeah. there are wetting the appetite of Chinese industrialists in the decades ahead. So Russia is very much threatened by China on a number of fronts. Yeah. And you won't have the U.S. And, and Russia holding hands anytime soon. But the question is how to minimize the friction and minimize dysfunction in what should be a more stable relationship. You pose it as a chess match 
Well done and very appropriate, John. We appreciate that. George, my thanks to you as always. Gentlemen, we'll talk again soon.